soll gelten. Good morning, how are you doing? Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday today and I'm in a slightly different setting to usual. I am in London, I'm staying at Hotel Cafe Royale, which is quite a snazz hotel, more snazz than I would normally go for. I have a really fun project to shoot today and this evening, which is with Jimmy Choo, which is just so exciting. As you guys all know, one of my favorite brands. We work together a lot and this year for this kind of festive, dare I say festive season. For this part of the year, we're recreating last year's piece of content that I made with them, which we did with a full production company and they kind of ran it this year. I am attempting to recreate that. My friends Lucy and Lydia are on their way here and we're gonna attempt to recreate, some, not exactly, but we're gonna go with something that's a similar vibe. It's a very fun and like choppy and really glam. So this hotel is like a perfect backdrop for something like that. Fingers crossed it goes well. If you don't see it, it means we failed, but I have the most faith in Lucy and Lydia. Lots of you will know them. They used to have a YouTube channel, but now they do photography and videography and they are insane. They do Maya Jammer's pics. They do Leanne from Little Mix. Like they, honestly, they sent me a video the other day and I genuinely, it was, the quality was so good that I thought it was AI. They're just amazing. So really excited for that. And it's just nice to be in London. It's nice to have a little breath of fresh air from reno life the bathroom is going in at the moment like it is so close to being done so i'm really excited to show you that when we get home tomorrow it's looking so good but it's just fun to be in london i i went to get starbucks this morning and i actually on my way back i went to whole foods for the first time ever never been to whole foods before i feel like it's like my favorite place in the whole world and i didn't know it like it's unreal so i'll do a little whole foods haul with you but first we need to do some makeup i need to like get a good base of glam on and get the room ready for shooting like there is just my makeup and stuff everywhere and for branded shoots you just can't have like anything we're gonna do some makeup i've already done my skincare this morning so we don't have to do that where is my foundation don't panic everybody is here. I'm excited for this glam. I have not put foundation on in a little while because I've just been at home. I've been wearing a glowy base. It's been very nice, but I love doing like a full glam look. So satisfying. This foundation photographs so well. My skin looks like I'm not real when I wear this for photos. Do you know what it's like? Do you know what it is a really good dupe for actually? If anyone remembers the Charlotte Tilbury is it magic foundation that I used to really love, this, this is that, that is exactly, it's, it's such a similar like texture, formula, like the, what it does to your skin, it is basically, it is that foundation and I am so glad to have a replacement for that because nothing really compared in terms of looking good in real life but also looking good in photos. Givenchy Corrector, Givenchy Concealer, Luminae Liquid Bronzer, Luminae Highlighter, Valentino Eye to Cheek in shade 4, Lancome 501, Armani Eye Tint shade 20, Valentino Brow Trio, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow gel. Okay, let's pray that that sticks. I have never sprayed so much Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray onto my face. I actually found that quite stressful. I haven't done a full glam eye look that's like this heavy in a while that isn't like sparkly. I find it easier when things are shimmery, they just kind of merge together a little bit easier but when you're working with like matte shades only you've got to get it right have i 
I'm not sure. Good enough though. So I'm just having a break whilst I muster up the mental energy to do my hair because it's getting to that length now where you have to have energy <laughs> to do it. So I've been eating my whole food salad. Yes, there is salmon. I have fully fallen off the vegan bandwagon. I am just dairy free at the moment. Not the point of this story. I thought I would show you what I got from whole foods whilst I'm sitting here. I actually just did a haul of this for TikTok and it was the most fun I've ever had on the internet. I don't know why I don't like taste test food more. Why was I never one of those vloggers that like got into like trying weird foods? Anyway, my first whole foods haul. We're gonna start off with the crisps. I love a crisp. I love a posh crisp. A classic, delicious, posh crisp. The truffle crisps are where it's at. If you haven't tried them, you really need to because they are insane. And they're also not super widely available where I live, especially. So when you find them, you get like this euphoric dopamine boost and it's unreal would recommend. Also, there is only one shop I know near me that does these and it's just, it's too far now that I'm not living at my house. So anytime I see these, it makes my day. These are the Piper's Jalapeno and Dill Crisps. Vic and Alex introduced me to these. They are unreal. So good. They also, if you know, you know, because you know on this channel, I like to hoard peanut butter. <laughs> I've actually gone through all of my Pippa Nut chocolate salted, what is it? Sea salted chocolate peanut butter or almond butter or something like that. It was, it was delicious. I had like six or seven tubs of it that I ordered in like a multi-pack. I found two in the cupboard at Ryan's because I knew, past me knew that I would go through them too quickly. So I stored some at Ryan's <laughs> to find a later day dead. My curse in life is I'm not funny, but I do things that are borderline psychotic slash hysterical like that. So we were just finding tubs of different types of almond butter in his cupboard. There was a gingerbread one as well. Anyway, their current limited edition is sea salt caramel. So I think it was sea salt dark chocolate before or something like that. I feel like this could be a new fun one for me. I'm excited to try it. We'll save that taste test for when we get home. Montezuma's dark chocolate giant buttons. I love a giant button. Lots of you will know I literally used to, they used to be in all of my what's in my bag videos pre going vegan. That was dairy milk chocolate buttons. But also, these are vegan. So these are dairy free. So it means I can inhale this entire box without a full face of acne impacting my life. How stunning is that? I literally love like any kind of peppermint thin, you know, they do those ones that are like Pringle shaped crisps, but they're chocolate and they're like, mm. I'm such a chocolate girl. Like it's actually, it's, it's bad. Like before I went vegan, I fully used to hoard chocolate. I also got some hummus and it's very good. I would say it's not the best hummus I've had. I really like this. There's one called like small, smorals, smorals, smorals. This one's good. It's not as good as that one, but I would say it's a very good runner up. And then the salad, this this is a spicy salmon noodle salad. Really, really good, would recommend. I'm eating it with chopsticks because I thought housekeeping had taken my fork away. I have since found my fork, but now I've started eating with the chopsticks anyway. So I'm just gonna stick with it because you girl could use some practice. That's my haul. The peppermint things, they are removed. Just thought you should know. Here she goes. The team is back together. The team is back, baby! Yeah, you always make me ugly laugh when we're doing this. It's not fair. Shooting the brown deal. <laughs> Since 20... Were you 2013 as well? 2010. No, you were. Right. <gasps> no, 2011. Oh, okay. Sorry, 2011. And she's still going strong. Look at her. She's an absolute pro. <laughs> I mean, no. no direction <laughs> needed. Beautiful. Lydia in her element. So Lydia's doing video today and I'm doing pics. Twin shot this if you don't follow us. I'm just gonna plug this the mouth, if you don't mind. <laughs> We've gone very quiet, we just shoot everyone else. Aww. Stunning. <laughs> the sleeves, the sleeves are in the basket. You're not having a good time though, are you? <laughs> really hot. <laughs> Did I eat fast enough tonight? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> when it's me and you, I can like, because I'll finish my food and you'll still be eating, it's like more obvious, but when there's loads of people, I'm just gonna say yes. 
My plate was empty, so we can take it as we are. Okay. It's right. not well worth done, it. Well done, Sue. Hey, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> just got back to the room that's a lie i've been back for about four minutes and i've already started inhaling this jar of chocolate hazelnuts which i got from the mini world and i really regret opening last night seeing as i went to whole foods earlier and bought like three sets of snacks for the same price as this one jar of chocolate covered hazelnuts but they are very nice in all fairness anyway things you didn't need to know my social battery is zero it is at zero in fact if it could be at minus zero i think it might be but it was so nice to see the jimmy choo fragrance team i just always love seeing them so much they're just the best best girls i actually have a little goodie bag let's open it okay we have the original jimmy choo i want you fragrance which i normally would be like yes this is going to be someone's gift for christmas however i'm running out so i might have to keep that one for myself we have also got jimmy choo i want you forever which i have just got a fresh bottle of literally that has just been opened today for the content so someone a lucky gal is gonna get that for Christmas. We have got, oh, matte lip color. Do we have two of these? What is this? Matte lip color and lip gloss, right. This is right up my street. Let's have a look. These lipsticks are just in the best packaging. Look at that, stunning. Oh wow, oh, that color is so nice. I haven't had one in this color before. It's like a dark nude. I've never seen that color. That's so nice. What color is this? 011 nude blush. Oh, what lip gloss is this gonna be? I love their lip glosses. Oh, clear. Yes. Gorgeous. Look at that is just the most incredible lip gloss packaging on this planet. I love it. Ooh, amazing. We need to get this makeup off because I can like I can feel it drying my face there is there is so much powder and so much setting spray on my face and I just want to scratch it all off so let's do some skincare <laughs> quick little outfit of the day this morning excuse my voice you can tell i was out last night and like projecting my voice because it sounds so groggy today i didn't drink anything before anyone assumes that i am hungover it was a full fat coke kind of night i just was shouting basically so i will be on vocal rest today but uh yeah this is my outfit you will have seen this one a lot we've got my beja trainers river island trousers celine belt cos jumper and i've got a zara body underneath and then jane and tash leather jacket ysl tote and then ysl sunglasses as well and then my earrings are the big one is monica vinida the middle one is from aurelia and the small one is also from aurelia and then my lip combo today is max stone and the hourglass like glossy lip balm which i am loving <sighs> such a nice morning so glad it's not raining good morning everybody i i know i know everyone says don't talk about how you look when you look bad on camera but i, I feel like a little toe today but it's fine because we're just at the house and we're just being little toes and i'm okay with that but i am aware i need a hair wash it's just one of those days. I had to get up super early to come to the house because I am waiting for a delivery. Our mattress is being delivered. Ooh, I've just seen the room in front of me. It's starting to be painted and it looks so different. And I had to let the painter in and I've had a few other bits being done as well. But I'm so excited. The reason I got the vlogging camera is because I need to show you the bathroom. We're so close to being done, but we're not quite there yet. So like I said, the painter is in and that is kind of starting so there's one wall that hasn't been painted and the ceiling still needs to be painted as well and then the radiator can go on the wall but apart from that 
it's basically done and I've, I'm probably gonna get some kind of like shutter oh the lights on in here god which switch is it not that switch not that switch oh is it that oh that switch I've just blinded myself. Okay, good to know they work. Love that. The lights have gone up in here. I'm gonna do you a little lighting haul, actually. I'm really, really excited for all of the lighting. I actually, I had my dream lighting that I wanted from Anthropology. There was like one light in particular for the bedroom that I really, really wanted. And I decided last minute to just be a budget friendly gal and I got all of my lighting from Dunelm for the price of the one bedroom light that I really wanted. So I'm very happy with my lighting haul. So we've got these pendant lights for this room. The glass hasn't gone on them yet because we actually need to raise them a little bit. Oh, there's a really big cobweb. <laughs> the globe around them is quite big and basically I can just about like stand underneath them. I'd actually like them to be a little bit higher and just so you can't see the string, you can just see the gold that comes off of it. And I'm going for like glossier showroom vibes up here, but without the pink. But yeah, I just want that kind of like really lovely, like cloud-like feel. And I think it's gonna be really nice. I'm also very proud because I went out and bought all of the light bulbs myself and I'm asking me to figure out which light bulb goes in which light is asking, like asking me to do subtraction and division. I cannot do it. Calculating the AT, however, I can do that. So yeah, those are, I've got two of these lights and they are just from Habitat. So really excited for those to go up. I think they're gonna look really good. Also, the lighting in this room is fantastic. We frosted the windows, which is as per just like boring building regulations, but it actually makes for the best all over lighting. I'm very happy with it. So yeah, those are the lights that we got for in here. And then for the bathroom, I can't find the boxes, but we got some John Lewis lights for the bathroom, which were super, super cheap. Yeah, super cheap, subjective, but they were really non-bank breaking, just a couple of little kind of globe lights. And I wasn't sure at first, but I'm really happy with them. They were basically like a West Elm dupe. So I've saved a lot of money there, but I actually had an issue because I wanted everything to be dimmable and it was quite hard to find the lights I wanted, but also have them dimmable. So yeah, I got those lights for the bathroom. I'll show you those as I show you the bathroom. But then we also got, oh, hello George. George is in, he's doing, he's doing good work. Let me show you for the hallway and the guest bedroom, I got this light from Dunelm, which looks kind of black and white in this photo, but it's actually like gold pendant. And then this really big kind of golden toned glass ball that goes on over the bowl. However, it's quite big. So we basically maybe need to bring these up ever so slightly and I can't get the glass on it. So that's a job for another day, but those are the lights that are gonna be going here and in the guest bedroom. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're, yes. Protecting your bedroom. Thank you. That, the most expensive piece of wood I've ever bought. So this is how the guest bedroom is looking. I've got a mist coat that's just gone on. And again, the lovely little half set up lights that I was just telling you about. So this is the bathroom. It gets better. It actually gets better. You wouldn't believe it, but it does so this is how things are looking it is filthy it needs a good clean but this is how it's looking so far so we've got the carpietra tiles on the floor and on the wall we've got the toilet here the toilet is just from victorian plumbing and then the screen literally everything is from victorian plumbing unless i say otherwise so all of this all of this so this is the shower which looks so cool i'm really happy with it love my little shower niche it's so cute and then We've got the screen that has like a gold trim down the side, which I love. And then look at this. How cool is that? I'm so happy with this setup. So the vanity is from Victorian Plumbing. Then the mirror is from Dunelm. And like I said, the wall lights are from John Lewis. I think they're from a company called Nordic Lighting. Really, really happy with them. They're dimmable as well. So let me show you. Woo! So I can have like the perfect amount of lighting that I want. And I just think it's so cool. Lots of you will know I hate a ceiling light. So this makes me so happy and I just love the cozy glow that it gives off in here. It's so nice and I love the mirror. It's like a lovely asymmetric mirror. So 
in some positions it doesn't look central but I don't care it just looks so cool I love it so yeah that's what it looks like it's a great little selfie spot as well and I'm just so happy with it I love it I've dragged Ryan in to show him the lighting yeah I'm driving George mad this is the last time I swear you ready oh my god it's amazing <laughs> And look at how like good you look in the wall lighting. Because oh, you're, you're not spotlit. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. And it's when you turn the big light off, it's all cozy. So you can have a cozy shower if you want. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> Hi, it's a bit later. To backtrack, I had my call with my wedding planner and that was great. I feel like I just, I'm just not gonna have to worry about anything. I'm so happy with that. And I've just got off of another call with my wedding venue owner. And honestly, she is so nice. Like I honestly, I'm sad that like, obviously the last vlog I said, should I tell you guys about my venue? And loads of you were like, absolutely not. Don't reveal your venue location, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to, but I'm actually sad that I'm not going to because I literally just want to shout about her. She's so nice. She's done so much, like so many different jobs, so much stuff. It was just like so inspiring and she has like the best energy and I'm just, I'm so excited. She's also like, her thing is food and I've been told by multiple people that food at the weddings is like unreal and that is her speciality and in addition to so many other things because she's also like super creative and like does all of the decor and stuff like that and it's just she is a woman of many talents and I'm like inspired and then slightly like questioning myself in life because I'm like wow she's so good at everything this is insane so I'm slightly in awe but also just so excited i feel so like positive about the whole experience now not that i didn't before but like now i just feel really like confident that between me the venue owner my wedding planner like this is just gonna be the best and the only thing i really am gonna have to worry about is my budget so yeah i'm just i'm so excited it went really well and i just it's so nice when you really like vibe with someone and someone has like good nice energy i really like that because sometimes when you talk to people and you're like trying to organize a wedding like sometimes the vibes are just off and you're like do you hate me do you want me to get married here so yeah i'm just i'm so happy i'm so excited it's just like really made my day like i was having a good day already but it's like really made my day and i'm just like I feel really good because I know a lot of people that didn't love their wedding planning experience and obviously I am only a month into it which is wild when I think about how much I have actually done in the past month. My life has literally been house renovation and wedding but it's just been it's been the best month and I'm just really grateful that I am enjoying it because I know so many people that just didn't enjoy planning their wedding and that makes me so sad because honestly I, that was what I didn't want for myself because I've always loved the idea of a wedding and I was always very sad when people told me they didn't enjoy planning it and that it wasn't a nice experience because it's sad when you look forward to something for so long and then don't enjoy it. I would have been really down about that. And I don't know, there is still time, but so far so good. I need to actually take a sip of my drink. So it's hot Ribena season over here. The heating is on, the hot Ribenas are out. And tonight I am going to make a lasagna. Lasagnas are one of my specialties, so I thought that would be, I have many specialties, they're all Italian food. Shocking. Hello. Do you want to come say hi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Italian food is my passion in life, so that is what I am going to do this evening. We're going to make a lasagna, it's just going to be super, super simple. Loads of veggies, veggie mints. I'm just going to make a vegan white sauce using milk and cheese and flour and stuff don't ask me how i do it i just chuck things in the pan and hope for the best sorry are you not enjoying this do you want to go back down on the floor okay. and that's probably where i'm going to leave you with a montage of me making dinner because i have nothing left to give for this vlog so i hope you guys have enjoyed spending the week with me and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye